What's up everybody, it's Shelly. In today's video, we're gonna be going over an element that anybody can do in skating. So if this is your first time skating, um, if you just skate for fun on the weekends, this is something that you can do. We actually teach this in figure skating to all of our beginner skaters. So this element is called the swizzle. It's kind of a funny name. They're actually kind of fun once you get the hang of them. Um, but we're gonna break it down in this video, forward swizzles. And um, also, please do not go away because I am giving away these amazing soakers in today's video. They're sequined, they change colors. I think that's so cool. Um, so you, you wanna stay tuned because you wanna see if you are possibly the lucky winner um, for these awesome soakers. So watch till the very end, you can get these awesome things. With that being said, let's go ahead. Let's start talking about these swizzles. Let's start with our swizzle position. First of all, you wanna make sure that you keep your head up and keep those eyes up. Don't look at your feet. Then we wanna make sure we keep our arms up and our back up. Try not to slouch down. That could be resolved by the last step by keeping your eyes up. Keep your shoulders over your hips. And of course, your feet are going to start in a V shape where you put your heels together and bring your toes out, almost like you're standing like a penguin. Before we actually try this swizzle, let's see if we can just hit the basic swizzle positions. First, I want you guys to put your heels together, then your toes together. So we're going to make the letter V and the letter A. The letter V and the letter A. And then from there, you're gonna make a V with your feet, bend those knees, and then we push into our swizzle. Let's go ahead and go over how we actually push and get moving across the ice for the swizzle. Once we have our upper body position all set, we're gonna bend our knees and push and squeeze together. Push our feet out and squeeze together. Now when you do the swizzle, when you're pushing your feet out, you wanna make sure you're pushing more towards the back of your foot when you're going in the swizzle. So when you first start the swizzle, you're pushing your feet out. And then as soon as you push your feet out, you are going to rise up from your knees and squeeze them back together. You will be feeling that rise and fall from your knee bend. You start that swizzle down in the knees. That is super important to get that push. And then when you squeeze your feet together, you are rising up from your knees. Now don't totally straighten out your legs, but you're going to feel that mobility from going down into the knees and rising up and coming up from those knees. That is very important movement on the swizzle. And while you're doing these movements, your upper body is staying where it was placed originally. Arms are out, shoulders are over the hips, head is up. You are not looking down at the ice because once you do that, your tush is gonna start sticking out and in turn, you're going to fall over those toes, which we don't wanna do. When you first start these swizzles, you don't need to have them flow from one to the other right away. You can start by just doing one swizzle at a time, starting with your heels together, push up and around, have your toes touch, stand still, and then repeat. Once you get that down and you're getting pretty good distance with your swizzle and your swizzle's covering more ice, I would highly suggest that you start to add a two foot glide in between each swizzle. So in that case, you can really start to build up your speed and your power. And keep in mind, the more knee bend and more push into the ice that you have at the beginning of that swizzle, the faster your swizzles will be. So I hope you guys found that swizzle video helpful. I know for a majority of you, maybe the swizzles are easy, you know how to do them. Um, but keep in mind, if you do know how to do a swizzle and if you're good at your swizzles, focus a little bit more on that knee bend and that power, sink low into that those knees when you're first pushing in the swizzle and really try to build that power. You can 
do these swizzles actually in a dip um, or squat position, whatever you want to call it. But you could be in a dip position and do the swizzle without bouncing up. That's really going to burn your quad. So if you're looking for a really good workout, that's something that you can do if you're a little bit more experienced with the swizzles. All right, to the fun stuff, you guys. These lovely soakers. Who won these? So I had some troubles picking out who the winner was. It's between two people. So the two people had comments that I really connected with that kind of brought me back into my skating world. And it brought me back to some certain moments in my skating life or in my life um, where skating really helped me get through those mo difficult moments. It was so hard to actually pick a winner that I called my mom, I called my boyfriend, and they didn't even know who to pick for a winner. So after I mention this winner, please stay tuned because I'm actually going to pick a second winner. Our first winner is going to be Brittany Sulk. She said, Skating gave me a growth mindset that helped me continue pursuing something that brings me joy through every setback. How true is that? And you wrote it perfectly. So you are the winner of these soakers. Congratulations. Um, stay tuned though, because I'm going to mention our second winner. So our second winner is Leanne Martin. Leanne said that... Skating has taught me to believe in myself, that I am very mentally tough, and that it is the one place that I can go where I can leave all of my cares at the door. It has also taught me that no matter what life throws at me, I can overcome it. It has also taught me that walking is boring. Beautifully said. So, number one, your comment about it's the one place that I can go where I can leave all of my cares at the door. Yes, absolutely. Um, that brought me back to my past, actually, when I was going up through a really rough time. My dad was going through cancer and he passed away. And what I would do is I would literally just go to the rink and skate. And in that moment, it was, it was almost like I was kind of away from all the hurt and the pain and it took me away from all of that terrible stuff that was going on at, at, my, at the moment of my life. Um, it was very difficult for me to go through. But I also really love how you also say how um, walking is boring. And you're absolutely right, walking is so boring. Skating is so much better. So Leanne, you also won a prize. Um, so I want you to email me as well. So for Leanne and Brittany, congratulations to my winners um, of this awesome giveaway. So if you two ladies can please email me at the email address below, or if it's easier for you, if you have Instagram, you can follow me at Shelly Skates on Instagram and message me. I, I will get your prizes to you. So to both of you, congratulations, and to everybody who participated in this, thank you so much. I appreciate it. In the future, I think I will be doing some more giveaways. I I think they're fun. They're a great way to um, just kind of say thank you because I really appreciate every single one of you in my Shelly Skates community. So till next time, I hope you guys have fun skating and skate great. Until next time, I'll see you later. Bye, guys.